Hey vloggers, how's it going? Uh, today we are in the beautiful town of Bracebridge, Ontario, Canada. And uh, I'm going up to the cottage uh, with Ben and his girlfriend. And uh, we need to, uh, I'm gonna open this window. It is crazy hot. There we go, all windows are open. Let the heat out. GoPro only heated up, overheated once. Anyway, back to the story. So uh, I need Ben to help me take the dock out because we're getting a new floating dock in September and we need it, it was supposed to come out or the dock was supposed to be delivered mid um, August but because of COVID and they were short staffed, they couldn't get the dock ready in time. So the brand new dock is coming in September, uh, mid September. And uh, so I needed Ben to come up and help me take out the two docks that are there, I can't do it by myself. Or I could, but I won't be able to take it out of the water 100%. I could probably get into the shallows and stuff by myself. They're really, really heavy docks. And uh, Ben Ben and his girlfriend need a couple of days off. Anyway, I bought a couple of steaks for, for Ben and I. Uh, his girlfriend doesn't like steak, so it'll just be Ben and I with the steaks. And his girlfriend will uh, probably, he probably brought something special for his girlfriend. But uh, yeah, I got up this morning, edited, put the video out. Uh, of the vlog of me leaving Tim Hortons, I believe. Uh, edit that, uh, uploaded it. It was taking forever to process. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Uh, when you upload a video, it asks you, do you have any of these issues in your in your video? Swearing, drugs, violence, blah, blah, blah. And you click uh, none of those and I'm submitting it. And what they were trying to do when they invented this whole uh, situation was um, you were kind of like helping them rate your video and make sure that they can um, put ads on it faster. They don't have to actually go through it with a computer and try to find out if there's anything wrong with the video. You're basically giving them a heads up saying, it's all, it's fine. And if you don't get any like reports saying that, oh no, wait a minute, you did lie. Like uh, you did swear and you did do this, then they don't trust you judging your own videos. But I've been doing this for, I think more than two years. And for, and you'd think it would increase my chances of getting my video up faster and then having no restrictions or whatever it's called. Um, somebody's smoking, I gotta go. That stinks, ugh. It's in this guy in the truck. He's got a cigarette going. I'm actually on the lawn because uh, it's the only shady spot, and it didn't it didn't even real, didn't help at all with the camera overheating. But there's a tree here, uh, there's a tree there, but somebody was parked there, and then there's no other trees in the parking lot. And my GoPro hates the sun, as you guys know. I can't get out that way. Um, yeah, I can't remember what. We're, oh yeah, we're talking about that. So uh, I had to not finish uploading the video or launching it. So right now it's just after one o'clock. So I'll have to wait till I get to the cottage. I'll open up my laptop. Um, uh, what's it called? Pair my, my phone to the laptop so I can access the internet and then uh, do the final touches for the video upload. Okay, uh, that's good. Uh, a little bit open, there we go. I'm gonna sneeze. That was a killer sneeze. Recently, as I've gotten older, I started to do two sneezes. When I was younger, one sneeze did it. One sneeze cleared out whatever was bugging my nose. And, uh, but nowadays I usually do two. That was a good sneeze though. So that's why I only needed one. Anyway, so yeah, YouTube gives us this pre-rating, uh, judging our video kind of thing. And, uh, but it doesn't seem to be helping. So I'm not sure what's up with that. 
Anyway, back to my story. Uh, when I was doing this video, I was talking about the fact that I actually worked in Bracebridge. I, I bet I've talked about this story before, but I did like odd jobs. I like painted people's houses uh, inside, outside. Uh, if uh, an older person needed help with their garden, uh, that's the job I was. So there was like an odd job squad um, office somewhere in town. So I signed up with them let them know I was like 23 years old, needed a job for the summer. Oh, I did moving, like guys with moving trucks would be moving people up here and they would only be by themselves. So they'd call ahead and see if they have any people with strong, strong backs. And I had a pretty strong back back then, <laughs> back back then. And uh, so I did, I did moves, painting, um, yard work, grass cutting. I helped one guy who had, uh, I was gonna say two planes, but he, he had a big cottage and a float plane. And so I would cut his grass and, and whatever he needed, clean out the gutters, because he was probably in his 80s. And uh, one day he, he wanted me to help him gas up his plane. So he gassed up the plane. He goes, wanna go for spin? I'm like, yeah. That was probably, I think it was the first time ever in a float plane it was just so nice the guy was a, a really nice person to work for um and then his son had a smaller cottage beside his dad's cottage and a smaller plane it was really funny that the, the dad had you know the big cottage and a big plane and then the son had a smaller cottage and a smaller plane it was just it was just kind of funny and uh anyway the other job i had was uh, at the the mail uh the post office the mail office the post office and uh really nice people that worked there and, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, I think originally they wanted me to go through all their old maps of the town and make sure the numbering system was right. So they'd give me all this documentation and then I had to go on this map because I had art skills and write down all the numbers of all the houses on this huge map that they wanted filled in. Uh, again, way before computers, it was like 19, was before I had a computer, it was 19, 1989. Yeah, way before I had a computer. And uh, yeah, and that was the year um, Batman was out. So I remember the theater having the Batman sign up. I, I think I even took a picture, that's why it's kind of stuck in my head. Anyway, so yeah, I worked at the post office and then uh, as, the, as the summer came to an end, I had to go back to college and I was taking graphic design and I think I was going into my second or third year, I can't remember. Anyway, so I had a lot of fun up here. Um, I think that's all I have to talk to you right now. On the way up, I grabbed two rib steaks for Ben and I and uh, I had to go stop at Costco to get Ben some croissants and I also got to grab Ben some milk I forgot to grab that in town so we'll stop at a store coming up grab some milk for Ben and then um, it's up to Ben whether or not he wants to be in this vlog and possibly tomorrow I don't know we'll see I'm gonna try and vlog more for you guys it's just sometimes it's really difficult to find the time um, but when I do these sit downs after a shoot it's perfect time to do a vlog I'll tell you guys what's going on in our lives anyway all right Let's get going. to the store that's kind of an interesting drive with like rain and then clear up and then pour rain again and now look at that isn't that crazy Muskoka weather
Thank you so much. Well, I didn't have any cartons of homogenized milk, so I'm gonna have to give Ben a quick call and tell him to pick up his own milk. I thought for sure this place would have it. They had 2% and then four liter bags, but he doesn't want 2%. So. What's your favorite milk? Skim, 1%, 2%, homogenized. Homogenized is my favorite. Better for you too. it up to the cottage safe and sound. I already got all the stuff out of the car. Yep, I already got my beer going, but first thing I did was I plugged in my computer and got the last vlog out to you guys. So you guys are watching that right now at 10 to two. And uh, this is where I usually keep my camera bag. It's just a great place to grab it. I can grab my drone. Uh, that will go in my room when I'm done. Here's my fishing gear. Hopefully we can get some fishing done. These are the fish that are on our lake. We got smallmouth, we got walleye. Uh, some people like calling that pickerel. We got largemouth, we got yellow perch. Gives you an idea where to fish for them. And outside, oh yeah. Again, a bunch of you guys know this is my favorite place in the world, right here. My favorite view, look at that. Sweet. So uh, the two end docks are gonna go out. There's two ramps going to two docks. Uh, you've probably seen Ben and I and other family members put them in and take them out every single spring and fall. And uh, now we won't have to do that anymore because we'll have a big L-shaped dock and uh, It'll go out another, I think it, it'll be out another five feet maybe, maybe 10. I can't remember the exact measurements, but it's gonna come off this side of the dock, go out and then L shape that way. And uh, yeah, we won't have to take it in and out anymore because the uh, all you do is remove the, the ramp and put that either on the dock or up onto this big dock. And then the dock, you just loosen up all the anchors and then the ice pushes it around during the winter. And then the springtime, you just tighten up all your anchors and it's all done. So I just called Ben and his girlfriend to see where they might be. They're just passing um, Barry now, so they won't be up here for another hour and a bit. And uh, look, my mom, mom did such a good job on the flower boxes. Well done, mom. This one is not as colorful. That one just had more color in it. I'm not sure. This one has some pretty cool flowers there. This one doesn't get as much sun. Huge difference, eh? That one doesn't, that one's in the shade longer. That one's in the sun much longer and it shows because this has got all those beautiful flowers. And I like this light colored leaf too. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm gonna try and edit this video before uh, Ben and his girlfriend get here and then we can do some fishing. Maybe make another vlog. Who knows? <laughs>